Yo, hi Tommy C from Keep Blogging Tascom. So today, I will show you how to set up the template of Smart Panel on your website. So here in System Settings, you can modify the website however you want. For example, we have the maintenance mode. For example, if you are applying some modifications on the website, you can enter in this mode and the website will look like this page. So we click on active, go here, and if we refresh, you can see the website is in maintenance, maintenance mode. And go well back and... So in order to get out of maintenance mode, you go to this link and you should remember it. Uh, then log in using your admin login. Go to static six, go to settings and make sure to deactivate this mode. Here we got the website name that you can modify, website description as well, uh, website keywords so that people will type in in the search engine and will find you, as well as the website title that will appear here. Then after any modification, make sure to click on save. Here in website logo, you can modify the website favicon. It means this icon right here. You can click on this icon and import any picture you want. Same thing goes for the website logo and the website logo white. This means without any background and you can use the website remove background, remove that BG to remove any background from the logo you will create to your website. Here in cookie policy, if you want to activate the warning message of cookie policy page, you click on active and this message will pop up it is in latin i guess so you should modify it however you want so it depends on the cookies you are collecting from the users and click on save the same thing go here here for terms and policy page So you can modify this content here. If you don't know what to put in here, I advise you to go to my website, geekblogging.com. Go to privacy policy here and feel free to copy and paste this. And click on save. So now you can see this policies and everything you have modified in this through this links right here, the terms and condition as well as cookies, cookie policy. Now, if we go to default settings, here we can choose the default home page. You can uh, you have two choices. So for so first, let's see the default home page. This is how it looks like. And if we choose this one here, you click on save. And now if we refresh, I need to refresh again. So due to stored cookies, I need to reopen the incognito mode in order to check the real change. So this is the so this is the new template or the new homepage. So basically there is two that you can choose between. You can modify the header menu skin color. 
For example, if we turn to Cool Sky, you can see. It's have changed the color of the header. Here in pagination, you can limit the maximum number of rows per page. I advise you to leave it at 10. For example, if you have multiple orders, so you can check. Here you select the default time zone that you have. Uh, for tickets, you can auto uh, active the feature of auto clear ticket list. Click on active. You can select 30 days to clear tickets without any response from users. Here in default servers service, you can select the minimum default minimum uh, default minimum order, as well as the default maximum order, as well as the default price. Here you can activate the drip feed option, as I have explained to you. You can leave this uh, settings however you want, and you can activate the notification pop up at a home page. For example, you can activate it and write in whatever message you want. Welcome. And click on save. So here, for example, if we, let's see if it pop up, as you can see here, there's the notification and you can write in wherever you want. So in order to make, to not make this video any longer, I will make sure to cut through, through different parts of setting up the website because it have a lot of settings as well.